Two great awakenings have taken place in the history of America. The first great awakening began in the 1730s among the 13 colonies. The passionate preaching of men like Jonathan Edwards, George Whitfield, and John Wesley spread like a fire throughout the land, calling the apathetic descendants of America's European forefathers to prayer, salvation, and repentance. Between the years of 1740 and 1742, New England's church membership doubled. Denominational barriers began to fall. The church was awakened and society experienced changes in its views regarding women, slavery, and even government. God used this awakening to prepare America for its upcoming freedom won against England in the Revolutionary War. The Second Great Awakening began around the year 1800, spreading quickly throughout the new frontier west of the Appalachian Mountains. Large revivals, or camp meetings, took place over the course of several days where evangelists such as Charles Finney and Alexander Campbell preached to thousands of people at one time, urging repentance and conversion. One large meeting at Cane Ridge, Kentucky in 1802 attracted 20,000 people a young man witnessing the event wrote, The noise was like the roar of Niagara. The vast sea of human beings seemed to be agitated as if by a storm. I counted seven ministers, all preaching at one time, some on stumps, others on wagons. Some of the people were singing, others praying, some crying for mercy. A peculiarly strange sensation came over me. My heart beat tumultuously, my knees trembled, my lips quivered, and I felt as though I must fall to the ground. Thousands were converted, new churches began, and culture transformed as Americans began to seek biblical wisdom for the nation's issues, including the abolition of slavery. God used this awakening as preparation for one of the nation's most difficult periods, the American Civil War that began in 1861. A third great awakening is coming.